Hey uh, everybody, let's talk about bitwise operators. These are special operators used in bit level programming. Knowing binary is important for this topic. So if you don't know how binary works, I would recommend skipping to the next topic. But if you're comfortable with binary, well, this video is for you. So let's begin. I'm going to discuss five different bitwise operators and or exclusive or left shift and right shift. Let's create three variables x, y, and z. x will equal 6, y will equal 12, and z will store our result, and we will set that to be 0. So I'm going to give you the binary representation of each of these numbers. So 6 is this number. So we have 8 bits, that's a byte, and this is the binary representation of the number 6. 12 would be this binary number. And zero, zero is easy. That would be all zeros. So let's use the and bitwise operator. So what we're gonna do is set z equal to x and y. So imagine this, imagine that we're aligning all of these bits in columns. Using the and bitwise operator, we're going to look at our operands x and y. If both of these are a one, we will assign one to our result. And let's begin with the first column on the right. Both of these are zeros, so our result will stay at zero. And with the next column, we have one and zero. And using the and bitwise operator, both of these need to be one in order to assign one to our result. So we will skip this column. Now with our third column, these are both one, so we will assign one to our result. The next column is zero and one, we skip it, and the rest are just zero. So this binary number, is the binary representation of the number four. So let's test that. Z equals X and Y, and let's print Z. And equals, we're displaying an integer. I'll add a new line, and we are displaying Z. And let's see if this is four. Yep, our result Z is equal to four. Now let's move on to or. So let's set this back to zero and we will set z equal to x or y. Or is represented by a single vertical bar. And we will print or. Let's try and guess what z is going to be before we actually display it. With the or bitwise operator, only one of these bits needs to be one in order for us to assign one to the result. So since these are both zero, this will stay as zero. This bit is one, this one's zero, so this would be one. And for the next column of bits, these are both one, so that counts as well. And we have a one in here, so that is one. And the rest are just zero. So this is the binary representation of the number 14. And let's see if z is equal to 14. Yep, we got that right. So let's set this back to zero. Now with exclusive or, that is represented by a caret. With exclusive or, only one of these bits can be one. If neither or both of these bits are one, we don't assign anything. So both of these bits are zero, they will stay as zero. We have one of these bits as one and not the other, so that counts as one. Now with this next column, both of these are one and using exclusive or, only one of these can be one. So since these are both ones, we do not assign anything, so we keep that as zero. And with the next column, only one of these is one, so we will set this to be one within the result. And this is the binary representation of 10. And let's test that. Z equals X exclusive or Y. And we will print exclusive or equals Z. And let's see if that's 10. Yep, Z is equal to 10. Now here's left shift. We will shift these bits so many spaces to the left using left shift. So we will set Z equal to X and then left shift, which is represented by two left angle brackets, a number of spaces. Let's begin with one. So we have X equal to six. What we're doing is shifting these bits one spot to the left and then adding zero at the end. And this is the binary representation of the number 12. Actually, it's the same as Y currently. These binary numbers are the same. And let's print that. So shift left and Z should equal 12. Yep, 
And if I shift left twice, well then we are just moving these bits one more space. And now this is 24. There you go. So you probably noticed that there's a pattern. Every time we shift a binary number to the left, it effectively doubles. Now let's right shift. So let's copy this, paste it, and we will use two right angle brackets. And this is shift right. And let's set this to six. If we're right shifting, we shift these bits one spot to the right, and this is the binary representation of the number three. And if I print this, after shifting right once, our result Z is three. Every time we shift right, we're effectively cutting our number in half. Now, if I shift right again, we will shift these bits one more spot to the right. And we are going to truncate this one at the end. And this will give us one. That is the binary representation of the number one. So technically half of three is 1.5, but we can't store that 0.5 portion. So it just gets truncated. All right, everybody, those are just a few bitwise operators. They are special operators used in bit level programming. There's five that we discussed today, but there is another known as the complement operator, but that's a little bit more complex. And I might save that for another video. So yeah, those are bitwise operators. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are some bitwise operators in C.